Devin Nunes. Uh, welcome back, Congressman. Hey, Shannon. Great. It's great to be with you. It's been a while. OK, so we're told that you all were briefed a little bit on what we heard from the FBI director and the DNI tonight about the fact that Iran, uh, with some help from Russia, has been pushing phony stuff out primarily to cause chaos in our uh, waning days going into the election. What can you tell us about what you know? Well, I want everybody to know that the election is if a lot of people have their ballots now, the best thing they can do is get the ballots turned in, fill them out, get them to the elections office, throw them in the mail. If you want to throw them in the mail, if you don't want to, just get them to the elections office. There's no sense to, to sit on them. And I think we've come a long way in terms of what the Department of Homeland Security has done, working with all the other 50 states to ensure that this election goes off without a hitch. And I think that's the key, Shannon. Uh, the idea that, that foreign countries are going to meddle in our election is nothing new. And in fact, before, four years ago, when the Democrats brought up this phony Russian hoax issue that we dealt with for so many years, this was pretty normal that the intelligence agencies would monitor uh, what our foreign adversaries would do. But mm -hmm. in, the, in the meantime, I'm glad that the director of national intelligence has come forth and made this public. Uh, I think it just makes sense mm -hmm. for people. Just be careful what emails you open. OK, former CIA officer himself, Buck Sexton, tweeting this out tonight. He says Iran is in interfering in our election on behalf of Joe Biden. His assessment by the rules established by our biased and moronic media, his words in 2016. This now means that if Trump loses, we can spend four years whining about how, quote, Iran stole the election for Biden and unleash a special counsel on him. Uh, Congressman, I'm guessing that's not going to happen. Well, look, I, I'm just hopeful that everybody understands now through all of this mess that foreign countries are always going to play games in elections. If they have intelligence services and they don't like the United States, they're going to play these games. Uh, what we need to make sure we don't have happen is for our own FBI and Department of Justice to get corrupted by the Clinton campaign like what happened back in 2016. Uh, so I think everybody's watchful for this. Um, there's a lot of ballots out there. So the best advice I have for the American people, get your ballots in. OK, I want to talk to you about the Hunter Biden story and the revelation that a couple of our reporters and producers have run down tonight, Brooke Singman and Jake Gibson. Uh, they say the FBI subpoena, which we've seen this document and Leland reported on this, uh, of the laptop and hard drive purportedly belonging to Hunter came in connection with a money laundering investigation in 2019. We have multiple law enforcement officials telling us that now. We don't know if that investigation is still ongoing. Um, or if it's directly related to Hunter Biden. So that's what we know about the laptop. Now, Senator Johnson has tried numerous times to get information from the FBI. He says they're not complying. He has now gone to the inspector general at the DOJ and said, I can't get answers about this laptop, whether the FBI has it, whether they did, when they had it, why wasn't it turned over to you all who were dealing with impeachment? He's asked for an investigation by the inspector general. Do you expect that to bear fruit? Well, it will take too much time, but I can tell you that uh, our investigative team, we have also independently verified uh, that these uh, that the laptop is indeed real uh, and that the computer technician in Delaware was just trying to be helpful. Uh, I think you hit the nail right on the head, and that is the American people, after dealing with three and a half years of a phony Russia hoax, a $40 million investigation by Robert Mueller, and I know a lot of people have forgotten about this, but in, in August, of 2019, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there was this new Ukraine hoax uh, where it was a leak of the president talking to the new president of Ukraine, talking about corruption. And we started dealing with this all through the end of 2019. Well, the computer technician came forward because he thought that he might have relevant information that the Congress should have if you, in fact, are investigating Ukraine. And we, we ended up actually impeaching the president of the United States over this. So the fact that the FBI didn't take what that American's concern was, you know, the reason he took that to the FBI was kind of twofold, troubling uh, pornographic images and also because it was in the news. And the fact that the FBI did not bring that to the United States Congress during the impeachment of the president of the United States is appalling. Uh, and somebody needs to answer why that wasn't brought to the Congress. Because remember, this would have been in December of 19, the very time that the president was being impeached, and then it was, remember it was delayed by Nancy Pelosi for like 45 days? The FBI had plenty of time to get that to the United States Senate to say, hey, here's some emails involving 
Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, money moving around. And, and look, the other thing that can't be explained is if any American received three and a half million dollars from a Russian oligarch for any reason, the FBI would knock down the door of their house or their business to figure out why did somebody get three and a half million dollars? And Hunter Biden has yet to tell us why that is. Joe Biden doesn't, doesn't answer the question. The media continues to cover this up. Uh, and of course, the social media companies are covering this up too. You can't even see it on Twitter. The New York Post has been, has, has, you know, can't even tweet yeah, any longer. They're still yeah, they've had a tough time getting that information out. So we, we can't verify independently a lot of the allegations about what may be on the laptop. Our Mike Emanuel has run down some of these emails, and we have our reporting confirmed that the FBI has this. So we'll learn more, we hope, in the future in the interest of transparency for every American. But I have a feeling the president's going to bring this up tomorrow night, and I'm sure the former vice president is prepared with his answer as well. Uh, Congressman Nunes, thank you Let's for being back so. with us. Thank you, Shannon.